Hi guys, welcome to my channel. I'm Arpita Karwa and in this video lecture, I'm going to talk about how you can make your own timetable if you are preparing for UGC NET English. Now, let's first look at why making a timetable is important. Guys, it is important because of several reasons. Reason number one is that it will take randomness away from your life. If you have not made a timetable yet, you might have seen this thing happening with you that uh, even after studying for like two months, you still question that do mahine mein kya kiya maine yaar, matlab kya hi padha hai maine. Sort of that things happen in your brain if you have not made a timetable. Because if you have a timetable, you can track your preparation, you can track your progress. Ki mujhe ek hafte mein ye karna tha, next month mera ye target tha. Then you reach all those milestones and gradually you reach near your goal. The second benefit from making a timetable is that it will help you to save your time and it will help you in organizing your preparation. See guys, it's not about working hard. It's about working smart. There are so many people who work hard, but successful people work smart. So if you want to be a successful man and if you want to clear this exam in first attempt, then it is important that you make a timetable so that it will save your time. You will be able to give enough time to the important areas and you will be able to give lesser time to the less important areas. If you don't make a timetable, you will somewhere feel that important areas neglect ho gaye hai. Lesser areas mein you have devoted a lot of time and energy. So that is the major use of making a timetable or a study schedule for that matter. Now let's look at how you can make a timetable. It will depend upon five factors. Okay, these are the factors that I have thought it might differ from a factor that you identify. If you identify some other factor, then do write that in the comment section below so that it can help other people as well. According to me, your timetable will depend upon five factors. Factor number one is that it will depend upon the time available to you for example if you're preparing for net exam in which you just have two months so your strategy would be different if you're preparing for a net exam in which you have four months the strategy would be different and if you're aiming to give net in the next year that means you have about an year or six months in order to uh, prepare for net then the strategy would be different see guys it's IPL season so it's it's better if I give you a metaphor uh, which can be related to cricket uh, just like if a team wants to chase about 220 runs in 20 overs then their strategy would be different and if the same team has to only make 150 runs their strategy would be different okay so similarly it totally depends upon the time available to you the second important factor on which your examination preparation or your exam timetable will depend is the occupation you are into if you are pursuing your masters and you have to go college regularly then you know understand that you can only give a limited amount of time but if you are pursuing your MA from distance learning and you have a lot of time then you have to devote more time and you will be able to complete the course relatively earlier if you are a working professional you are doing a job you're teaching somewhere or you are involved in any other job then you only have time after you come from office so your study timetable will differ according to that and if you are not doing anything you are done with your masters and now your whole focus is on clearing the net exam then you have everything in your hands the third important factor on which your timetable will depend is your personality type guys everybody is different in their own way and everybody studies in a different manner for example i am a kind of person who can study for 16 hours at a stretch and I'm not kidding friends that is a God gifted thing to me I, whenever I do my note making thing I can study for a stretch of 16 hours without taking more than two or three breaks for lunch and dinner or something like that okay but there are people who need frequent break okay then it will also depend upon whether you can study better in the morning or you can study better in the evening it's about this theory called midnight owl are you a midnight owl or you are a morning lark kya aap subhay jada retain kar paate ho ya raat mein jada pad paate ho it will depend upon that it will also depend upon what kind of study uh, you know method do you use do you study individually or you study in a group if you study in a group then your time and your timetable will vary according to the group members i used to always study in my secluded room and i used to study alone so my timetable would only depend upon me so 
personality type also plays an important role in preparing a timetable. The fourth important thing on which your timetable will depend is the level of preparation. If you have already given net exam and you have like prepared almost the entire course then you might give less number of hours and you will might devote more hours on revision rather than on making notes if you are attempting this net for the first time or for the second time and you still think that you have to cover a lot of syllabus then your study timetable will have more time devoted to making notes and learning things and less time to revising them the fifth and the last important factor on which your study timetable will depend is the source from which you are studying if you are studying on your own, you are doing self-study, then you have to devote a lot of time in understanding things, in making notes, in learning and then revising. This is the kind of graph that will move. If you are preparing the course from like some online course, like if you subscribe and join my online audio course, then I will tell you very clearly that you have to just devote six hours every day or five hours every day, two and a half to three hours to listen to the audio lectures and keep on writing down the pointers that will help you in making your own notes and that will help you in learning and retaining things and it will also help you in understanding concepts so all the understanding learning making note will happen in two and a half hours to three hours because i upload audios of about two to three hours every day now my role ends and your role starts your role is to learn those things because learning is something which is very personal to each and every person i've already made videos on how to make notes i've made videos on how to learn effectively you can refer to that videos on my youtube channel so that is what it will depend on if you have joined any coaching institute then your timetable would vary according to their classes if they have their classes in the morning then every day in the morning you have to uh, go to the classes in the evening and you have to make notes and then you have to learn if they are having their classes in the evening then in the morning you have to learn and revise so it depends I started with this online course because I wanted to give flexibility to each and every student in spite of the fact that they are involved in other activities every day a person can at least take out five hours from their daily routine in order to study for UGC net so you can listen to my audio lectures anytime anywhere you can keep on writing down the pointers and then once you're done with the pointers, you can just learn those pointers and you're through. And after every seventh day or eighth day, you can just revise whatever you've learned in the entire week. So this is how we go about with it. Okay, so now we, since we have looked at why timetable is important, why a study schedule is important and how it will depend on majority of factors or on different factors. Now let's look at how you can actually make a study timetable and what all points you must remember if you are making a study timetable. So the first thing that you must remember when you're making a timetable for UGC Net English is that the order of importance of the topics in the exam. Uh, if you go to my website arpatakarva.com you will find a list of modules in which I have divided the entire course. I have made 10 modules and they are organized from the order in which the first module is the most important and the last module is the least important. Order of importance is essential in order to keep in mind how much weightage each module has. For example, most of the questions are asked from British module. So you must focus more energy in learning about British writers. There are only few questions which are asked from literary groups and movement and very less questions asked from history of English language and English language teaching. So they are module 9 and 10 in my online course. If you are preparing for your exam, keep in mind that you take the important topics first and then you move towards the less important topics. Second important thing that you must keep in mind is the order of your weakness. Every person has some or the other weakness when we are preparing for any competitive exam. In English literature, some people struggle with literary theory and criticism. Others struggle with post-colonial literature. Some are really bad at rhetorics and prosody. So whatever is your weak point, you must devote some time in the morning every day in order to study the topics which are a part of the weak areas. Why in the morning? Because there's a book by Stephen Covey wherein he has said that eat the ugliest frog first. Sabse mushkil kaam sabse pehle morning mein karo because your brain is fresh. It will be able to register more it will be able to decode complex information and it will be able to give its hundred percent dheere dheere jab din khatam hota hai aapki brain ki energy deplete ho jati hai like i was a very slow learner when it comes to maths so whenever i used to study maths in the 
night or i used to study maths in the evening i used to actually struggle understanding the concepts that is because mere brain ka pura energy us time available nahi hota but whenever i used to do maths in the morning i used to actually understand each and every concept also you must remember that in the initial months of your preparation do give time to the weak areas because last months mein exam jab aane wale honge us time pe you will be so stressed out that you will not be able to actually devote enough time or you would not be able to you know put your 100% in the weak areas and if you don't put your 100% in the weak areas it would be really hard for you to attempt the questions from those areas the third important thing that you must remember while making a study timetable is that you must focus on different subjects at the same time okay different modules that means you need to keep a combination of two or three subjects or two or three modules don't study only one topic one age or one writer throughout the day you will get bored very easily that is why in schools we have periods which have different different subjects in which we have been you know there's a period of 50 minutes of english then the period shifts to maths then to sst then to science because our brain doesn't like monotony and if you keep on doing same thing it will create monotony it will create boredom and somewhere after 2 or 3 hours you will lose interest and you will don't feel like learning anymore also you must remember that when you are making your study timetable every time devote some time for your leisure and for your you know entertainment purpose also because somewhere our mind gets drained out when we are studying so it is important to rejuvenate the mind as well the fourth important thing that you must remember while you are making a study time table is that you need to balance have a balance between hard topics and easy topics for example if you try and take all the main romantic poets in one day you will fail because wordsworth coleridge keats byron shelley all of them together in one day it will create a havoc in your brain so you need to balance kuch major writers le lijiye kuch minor writers lijiye and then study them together so that aapka brain balance kar pae important or less important information ko okay so this these are few things that you must keep in your mind if you are making a study time table now i'll be giving you a sample time table through which you can start your UGC net preparation in order to make a study time table the first thing that you need to do is that you need to divide your day in four segments okay or you can divide all the activities that you do on a daily basis in four categories so let's see what are those four categories number one is routine work all the routine work like bathing sleeping eating then we have traveling then routine works like if you are a homemaker then you need to cook food for children you need to you know invest time in cleaning the house if you are a professional then going to office will come under the routine work so routine work will have all the areas will cover all the areas that you have to do regularly maintenance ke jo kaam hote hain jiske bina you cannot live all those work will come under the routine work the second category is urgent work now in spite of the fact that we are preparing for a competitive exam there are times when you have to do certain works which will not help you in the exam some work which are important in order to fulfill your family responsibilities or to fulfill your daily life functioning for example agar aapke ghar mein nal toot jata hai to it doesn't matter whether you are studying aapko sabse pehle tap ko fix karwana hoga so that will come under the urgent work that needs to be addressed urgently then if you have to pay the fees of your college or school and you have to go there in order to fill the formalities then that will come under the urgent work there is some urgent family function that you have to attend you cannot skip bahut hi close relative ki shaadi hai ya kuch hai that will come under the urgent work the third category is your study time the activities that concerns with your ugc net preparation be it making notes be it revising be it learning be it listening to audio lectures be it attending some coaching class and the fourth important सेगमेंट दैट वी ऑल लव इज एंटरटेनमेंट एंड टाइम वेस्टर्स जिसमें हमारा सबसे ज्यादा टाइम चला जाता है दिन का दे दे कंटेन ऑल द एक्टिविटीज विच विल नॉट हेल्प यू इन योर लाइफ ओके नाउ गाइज लाइट मी टेल यू वेर द प्रॉब्लम लाइज द प्रॉब्लम डजेंट लाइव विद द फैक्ट दैट वी डोंट हैव टाइम वी ऑल हैव ट्वेंटी फोर आवर्स द मोस्ट ब्रिलियंट माइंड इन द वर्ल्ड आर ऑल्सो हैविंग ट्वेंटी फोर आवर्स एंड वी ऑल्सो हैव ट्वेंटी फोर आवर्स वी हैव प्लेयर्स लाइक विश्वनाथन आनंद हु हैव डन सच मिराकलस वर्क इन द फील्ड ऑफ चेस एंड ही टू हैज ट्वेंटी फोर आवर्स एंड वी ऑल्सो हैव ट्वेंटी फोर आवर्स द ओनली डिफरेंट 
is that Vishwanathan Anand and great men who are there in this world now or who were there as a part of this world earlier, they all invested their time in the right pockets. Out of these four categories, they made sure that they invest their time in the category of study or work, whichever. Currently, we need to devote time to study. Later, we can devote time in making career or in our job. So our efficiency, our life depends upon the time that you invest in the third pocket so make sure that you are able to delegate certain works which are falling in the urgent work category if you can give it to other people who can do it for you you can tell it to your parents you can tell it to your uh, colleagues if they can help you out with it so that majority of the time you can devote in the study category you can devote maximum time in studying for UGC net guys I know it's IPL season there are great cricket lovers who will watch IPL for like four hours five hours every day but understand in your peak hour when you have to study you are watching IPL whereas Virat Kohli Mahindra Singh Dhoni they are in their peak hour they are making their career so that's the difference that lies with us they are investing their time in making their career and we are investing our time looking at them and not getting anything in return so you must remember that this is high time and you must invest your time on which you want to build your life on Okay, there's a famous saying which says that on which you invest your time, it grows. Aap jis bhi cheez pe time lagaoge, wo grow karega. If you devote your time in watching YouTube videos, uh, hilarious videos, comic videos, uh, watching comic uh, gurus or watching stand-up comedians, aapki wo playlist bharti jayegi, but that will not help you in your exam. So what is important is that every day you cannot skip the routine work, you have to do it. Then the second thing is that get done with the urgent stuff. Do teen jo bhi urgent kaam hai us din ke, do it fast so that ab aapke paas jo time bachta hai, that time you can invest on your studies. And at the end, if you are able to do match your target, the study target of that day, then reward yourself by doing something from the fourth aspect, which is the time wasters or entertainment category. If you like watching movie and you are able to complete your syllabus on time, that day's syllabus or that day's target on time, then do give yourself a reward by watching a movie. So problem doesn't lie with this. Problem lies when you invest four hours in watching a movie and then study for one hour. It is every time exciting acceptable if you study for four hours and then give one hour for your entertainment it's all right but then the process get reversed and that is the problem with most of the students so i hope i was able to make something clear in your mind and you'll be able to now know how to build your own timetable depending upon the factors that i've mentioned so i'll be meeting you in my next video lecture till the time i meet next happy learning and before you end this video do subscribe to my channel and uh, you can follow me on all the social media platform because i I post a go net quiz on these social media you can go to my youtube channel and watch other videos that i've made especially for ugc net aspirants also visit my website www.arpitakarva.com you'll find all the previous year papers there also you will find a list of all the important writers that you must study if you are preparing for ugc net english if you like that list and you are interested in joining my online course you can give me a call on the number displayed on screen so till the time we meet next happy learning keep loving literature and stay tuned to arpitakarva.com